I am on a mission here to make a full set of black cotton twill separates to have interchangeable outfits. This installment is the shawl collar vest using black snail number 0220 1890s ladies vests. This took over a month, almost two, because of all the hand stitching. But I made the thing. So let's get to it. I started with the darts on the back pieces, then the center back seam, and flat filled the back seam to the left side. I didn't get footage of the bottom finishing, but it was turned up and rolled. Then I finished the backs of the armholes with a bias strip, understitched, and flat felled from there. Thankfully, the straps turned out well this time. And by turned out well, I mean that quite literally. Look at that pretty vest back filmed on my old phone. That's how long this took me. On the fronts, I started by loosely pad stitching the twill layer to the tailor's canvas. This is done to ensure that the layers don't shift too much while working on them. The edges were then marked with the seam allowance and stitched together on that line. Then I got to the permanent pad stitching. I curved the collar around my fingers while pad stitching to get it to bend in the right direction. Then 
Then the seam allowances of the canvas were trimmed back to remove bulk from the seams of the final product. and I got started on the tapes. I used a 3 8 inch cotton tape, which is fine. It gets the job done. It was installed at the roll line as seen here and all around the outer edges. The facing was machine stitched off camera, and the seam allowance was then catch stitched around the collar. Shoulder padding was used because when trying on I had that odd crease in the shoulders because mine are pretty squared, and the vest shoulders are rather sloped. The facings were then felled to the canvas only. The step that made the most sense to do next, for me, was buttonholes. Might as well get my least favorite step out of the way as early as possible. Then the back edges of the facings were turned in and felled, covering the raw edges at the shoulders and the back of the collar. The lining was felled into place and the buttons were sewn on off-camera. The D-rings were attached on the left side strap, and it was ready to wear. I do a 
apologize for the possibly overly dramatic reveal shots, but this took so long to make that I'm convinced that I may have been a bit unhinged by the end. So... enjoy? thank my two brand new patrons over on Patreon, Cassie M and Terry. I know that $5 a month doesn't seem like much, but it all adds up. And thank you so much for being the first. It truly helps me keep creating content. I've also added a one week free trial, so feel free to come on over and see if you like the vibe. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!